if you are even slightly good at computers, or even if you're just not afraid to try to work on a computer, you will eventually be asked to give free tech support. And that's what happens to me at work a whole lot. We work with computers, we don't do computer work, but we use them as our tools of business, right? So, we needed new computers in our office. We had to go buy two. One for me, one for Casey, we sat in the cubicle behind mine, a little bit off to the right. We had old Windows XP computers that were counting down to explosion, so we needed to go and get brand new computers. So I went out to Best Buy, and they gave me the company credit card. They said, go pick out some computers that we can use for work. Not a difficult task, but only, but only I am fully equipped to do so, apparently. So I went out to Best Buy, bought two pretty basic computers, brought them back, now I'm unboxing them, I'm setting them up. I set up Casey's computer first, over here. I get it going, it's all plugged up. Get, we get it up, take off some of the you know, useless things on the desktop that we don't need, and I you know, tell, show her, you know, here, is, here is the um, Internet Explorer, and here's the WordPad, things like that. And I say, okay, now we need Skype. We use Skype every day at work. Download Skype for the computer, and we'll go work on mine. So she brings up the browser and types in Skype, apparently, but doesn't go to the URL box at the top and go to Skype.com. She types it into the Google search bar, which means that whatever disreputable con company paid to have its product at the top of the search for Skype is the very first thing that she clicks on. I have no idea where she's going. I don't even know that she's doing this. I'm busy at my desk. I'm turned around and I'm pretty sure that she can handle a simple task like downloading Skype. But instead she has gotten a big box uh, with viruses crossed off and Skype written in, in crayon and just dumped the contents into the computer that I had five minutes ago opened. I come back from hooking up my computer and see how she's doing. And it looks like, oh great, the download's finished. You have Skype. All right. I open up Skype. Wow, that's not Skype. I don't know what it is. The browser opens up and it goes to some random website that doesn't look right at all. And it's like, oh, that's not good. Press home. Home key should take you to Google. It brings you here again. Oh, crap. Oh my god, what did you do? I was like, I just downloaded Skype, and I just started running through my mind all the possibilities, and I realized, yeah, that's what she did. She infested a brand new computer with a big bucket load of Trojans and malware. Oh, there's where the rest of my day is going. I am going to undo a problem that did not exist five minutes ago! Hey, I got paid, right, to mess around with the computer all day. I didn't have to be on the phone like I normally do. That's a bit of a bonus. So, I got it fixed. It was a pain in my neck. And I got a good story out of it, too. But, the really killer part is, when I went to Best Buy and brought two brand new $800 computers, I used my Best Buy Reward Zone card. Now, whenever I pull up at the Best Buy, they think I am a high roller. They kick out the red carpet. It's whoosh! It's Michael, our best customer ever. He spent $5,000 here last week. Michael, can I get you a drink? I love Best Buy.